Hi friends, two months back we have released our YouTube automation app for all no code lovers and we are so excited that almost 50 plus users are using our app for their daily needs. Now based on their feedback and comments, we have completed some of the feature requests and we have done some of the updates and here today we wish to glance you quickly through these updates. Coming to the minor update we have done, you can see here in our main YouTube app we have added two trigger modules. One of the module is watch for new video in playlist. Second one is watch for new video by search term. So here by search term means if you provide a search keyword or a search term like Excel, you will be going uh, like the trigger module will keep on watching. If any video is released having Excel name in the video title or suppose if it is new, uh, if you want to watch a video, which have a title containing no code uh, automation or something or automation. So you can effectively use this module to get alerted or uh, to post to some other platforms uh, that, that this video has come and you can share it across the platforms. So that's on the trigger updates. Now to answer some of the queries or questions raised by few of the community users uh, of no code platform that whenever they use us YouTube API or Google API, they are facing an issue of uh, like they need to reauthorize every seven days. This is common uh, for Google APIs. But in our case, in our app, never never they have to reauthorize every seven days it's a uh, it's it that authorization will be carried for a couple of years at least one year so no need to worry on this kind of authorization etc now coming to the major update we have come with a plugin kind of a new app which is having a which is having a module whose sole purpose is to upload the video so this was missing uh, missing in our uh, main release so based on the request we are providing to users uh, this module so how it works so we have to download the data content uh, like using a url mp so we have used an mp4 url here or you can download from wherever it has been placed either google drive or OneDrive, etc. So now I've just feed in that URL in HTTP get a file. Once you run, you will get a data, data, buffer data of the video. Now using this module, YouTube video upload, you can just map the HTTP get a file or map the binary data, right? Or the data under the file section. Once updated, the video will go in a public status. And you can see there is an update video detail module using update video detail module you can connect it here and just feed in the video id from the previous module so here it's known as user id and i just provided a title m square demo and a category id so for science and technology the category id is 28 and i just provided that video description default language license privacy status etc now how you will get the category id to get category id we have provided a module known as list youtube categories so uh, inputting your region code you will get the categories or the category id for each uh, uh, each category like science and technology comedy entertainment etc so now let's run it are you ready yeah so i'm just uh, clicking run once let's see here it is the module has successfully run let's go to our uh, channel so here this is our m square channel i'm just refreshing here so on the refreshing we can see here m square demo has been successfully updated sorry uploaded with visibility as public is it really exciting let's go to the details so I'm just clicking the details here. You can see the description title. Then uh, there is another module for uh, updating or uploading the thumbnail. You can use, utilize that. And there are some, you can provide tags. I have never provided that. You can uh, provide it. So license status, everything has been there. So this is the major update uh, which we have released recently or now for our no code lovers. So try utilizing this app uh, to access these things. Check out the link in the description of the video. Have a great day. Bye.